Hello, hello. We're gonna attempt at the cleanest composite video mod that I encountered, I ever encountered for Atari 2600 without any soldering or anything like that. Um, basically it's a drop in for the TIA chip. That'll go right here. Um, obviously it works for um, socketed chips. So it's like six switch consoles. Um, I believe would finish four switch also is socketed. Um, that's what I heard. Anything before the black Darth Vader version of Atari 2600 basically uh, should have the socket. Um, there are a lot of mods out there. They require soldering, this soldering, and I got this abomination from eBay, for example. They basically solder these directly on the board without even, uh, you know, putting in extra circuitry. And that didn't work, of course. And then what I tried is, well, they solder here, like TP5, somewhere here directly. Uh, that's the Luma Chroma, I think, output from the chip. And that creates very, very weak signal. You can't even see. And then I got this clean comp. So that's the other option. If you can solder, apparently my eyes and my hands at the age of 50 start failing. And uh, I failed this miserably. So what this is is this is a circuit board you just solder these on Tia's legs pins here and then you just you know solder the um, video out uh, and audio out um, and then good to go but like I said um, if you suck at soldering like I do this is not a viable option either and the only other option is, if you don't even want to open your console, the only other option is, you know, use an old VCR or get one of these little analog uh, TV tuners where you can put the antenna in. You can tune this. It has a remote or you can use this and then it gives you, you know, either VGA out. There are models out there that can give you AV out and then you can use this also without even opening the console. But today, we're gonna do, the, do this guy. So, it's got a PAL and TSC um, jumper. So we're gonna leave that at NTSC since that's this console uh, is NTSC. And then this jack is for the AV. It's gonna go like this. All right, so very carefully, we're going to remove this guy. Very slowly. So you can use a flathead screwdriver. Um, I'm going to use this guy, so I'm getting a leverage, so I'm not pushing any components or anything. So very slowly. Just start to come out, but we can't push the whole thing up, otherwise the legs, the legs will be bent. You go almost there oh well the I broke the part of this uh, socket it was very brittle I believe 
and um, you know when I leveraged this thing against it it broke it's not a big deal well I'll be just more careful because without it I have to touch the circuit board okay after some brief struggle the chip is out the legs pins are not bent here's a broken piece shame but oh well it's almost what 45 years old so some of these things are expected so a chip there's a notch so the socket i believe this is the notch or maybe it's not i don't know but anyway i saw from his video the um, seller of this board uh, has a YouTube video. He shows this, so you can watch him too. He just doesn't show the results. Uh, so I'm gonna show the result. Okay, we're gonna put this in. I'm having a hard time putting it in. This is not the sockets I'm used to. It has some, it feels like pins. Weird. Well, I can't get this in. So what I'm planning on doing is I have another socket. So put the socket in here and put this on top of the socket. Let's see if that works. Okay, I mean, really unnecessary layers of sockets, but if it works, it works. Let's see, and then Tia goes back on top. <gasps> I'm an idiot. Okay, I missed the leg, one pin, and everything was shifted, so it's okay. It's like Universe is trying to tell me that I should not mod any Ataris. Clearly, I suck at it. Um, okay, and this is going to go here. And let's give this a try. One thing to note, we cannot have this nice shield anymore as it's hitting it here. And I don't know if I drill a hole, if this thing can clear the top. I mean, this thing is pretty hefty, but we'll try it open for now. Now we get the AV mod work. Unfortunately, there are these lines I don't know if it's because of lack of shielding or what but um, the RF uh, was cleaner than this uh, let me see source oh AV2 TV here you go um, actually this one has some noise too but with the shield on um it was a lot cleaner so these are less moving it's not wavy as the other one and i'm going to change the source again yeah the sprites are cleaner so i don't see as ghosting as much ghosting as the one in rf the lines are cleaner but there's a lot of noise um interference uh, more like not noise necessarily so um, i'm gonna close it up and see if i can find a way to shield this thing while keeping the 
uh, circuitry. Another thing is this thing easily pops out. So this is not a very good solution. So I'm gonna contact the seller to see um, what other ways we can put this in. Without the extra socket, empty socket, I can't put in at all with it. Um, those white sockets are just not holding it. Um, it just easily comes out. So it's not really a viable solution. I don't think I can tape it down or anything. So um, I guess I'll have to do that. But other than that, it works. Finally, moded Atari 2600. Oh, a little update. I forced it without that extra socket, so directly into this white socket. So it went into place, well, kind of halfway, but it's very snug. So we're going to test it this way. Also, I used uh, this on the bottom because otherwise the board uh, bends if you push too much. So. Uh, you need some kind of pad underneath, uh, right underneath the chip to make sure the board doesn't bend. All right, success. And I removed the RF cable and I see a lot less noise. So not super duper clear HD. There's still some bleeding here, but it could be the uh, color black on my switch. I know. That switch is little right now, as you can see, wonky. As I touch it, um, it causes problems. But after some cleaning, uh, I should be fine. All right, since we don't need the RF anymore, I removed it and I use that RF cable hole for the video cable. And I looked it here in case of possible yanking of the cable um, I think it's better to tape it down as well just to be sure I'm gonna try to open a hole in the shield so I'm just gonna make some measurements about one and a quarter inch from the screw hole and about half an inch from the bottom of the circuit about right here this was probably a bad idea but I don't have anything to lose. Okay. Well, I missed a little bit. We'll see. Make sure we don't have any metal dusts. We don't want to short anything. As you can see, we are way off. Actually, the height was off. I made a mistake. I measured from the uh, wrong end, or rather, it doesn't go like it's there. The socket is right there. Um, but I measured from the bottom of the circuit. Um, in reality, I think um, it's not supposed to be measured from there. So Also, this jack doesn't fit anyway. So we definitely need to cut something bigger. Success. After some more drilling, turns out uh, the seller has the version of this mod without the jack, um, so you can directly solder the cable uh, without having to drill the shield. So I didn't know that. Uh, I ended up doing this.